Hi, everyone. Um, as you can see, my colleague here, Collins, has joined us. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to be doing uh, over the course of the next few weeks is to do some of these on a, on a regular basis to cover each and every one of the products that comes out so that you guys get an idea of how they work, what the features of these products are and what the benefits are so that you can actually um, offer them to others. Uh, now, I've spoken for ages about building lists of people, um, you know, what industries they're in, whether they're at school, whether they have kids at school, etc. So the object of the exercise really from these um, discussions is to get an idea has, as to how you can broach the subject with these people and offer these out. So today what we're going to do, Collins and I, is cover Omail. And Collins, being the software guy, is going to cover off exactly what the features are and hopefully I can come in with some ideas as to how they... Um, how they work and and what sort of industries you can aim them towards but you can use your imagination here so come on in collins come and say hello to everybody and let's get this show on the road hello andy greeting to everyone hope you are all fired up today is andy and collins you know we are here you know as humble as we are just to give you the as much information as possible about all mail and what OML can do for you, both on your personal life and the industry, you know, businesses and a lot of stuff that you can do. So, Andy, take it over from me. <laughs> okay, Colin. So, what we're going to do is, is, as I said, cover OML today. So, what I want you to do, Colin, is just give us some ideas as to what's actually built into OML. How does it work? What's its, uh, what are these uh, special little bits and pieces the add-ons in there and what i want to then try and do is to is to once once you've covered a a feature that that's in there is kind of related to some of the industries perhaps and what sort of ideas we've got as to how to offer it to others so take it away my friend yes andy let's look at all mail so what is all mail i think all of us have been using emailing system right we're using yahoo gmail AOL, Outlook, etc. So let's look at email. So it's not really strange that we've been using. We are all in the internet space. So what is OMAIL? OMAIL is, an, is, an, is a mailing system, you know. But again, they have the pro and they have the, the normal email, uh, mail which we can use in OMAIL. So let's look at the features of OMAIL. So the OMAIL is built by what is built by on passive power by on passive it's an automated system integrated with other um, products within on passive driven by ai everything automated all done for you 100 percent ai driven that's what we want to say now let's look at the features we have what speech to text text to speech video mailing email dashboard we're talking about um, um, read receipt. We're talking about, um, and again, let's say this email will be integrated with what O Tracker. That's what we know now. Email, the O mail will be integrated with O Tracker. Okay, so, so can you go into like the speech to text and text to speech then? What, 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 how does that work in there? All right, let's look at speech to text means you are saying you are speaking and the system will, will you know will write everything for you as easy as that so you don't have to waste time writing the system write everything as you say in your language so you speak in french you write it in french speak in english you write it so there's multilingual translation that's what i noticed within all system okay now, so what that means for for individuals small companies and companies is basically i can talk to the email yeah so i can so let's put this into a um uh, an education background so teachers can actually read off their their transcripts from their um, lectures for the day or the healthcare industry can um read out their prescriptions for for customers or the uh, surgery reports or the legal can actually 
um, legal advisors can use it to to do transcripts from from the court cases. Financial services could do it, you know, for for um, the meetings that they've had to confirm what's been discussed with customers when they've been in their first meeting. That's phenomenal. So it does it the other way around as well then, yeah? Yes. So we're talking about now text to speech. Just imagine you are you you are a manager of, of a of a corporate industry or whoever you are, you have a long email. They've sent you a long email. Sometimes reading is something that is really difficult. Sometimes people feel tired and lazy. What if you have a system when you can click, they send you an email saying, No, I'm tired of reading this. Click a button and the system will read for me. That is text to speech. You click and the, 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 the system read everything and you can take action if appropriate. Okay, so, so this is also good for, for let's say, teachers have kids that are visually impaired. They'd be able to listen to the email. Or for yes. Visually impaired people. Perfect. Yeah. Now. Okay. Sorry, go on. Yeah, you go, you go ahead, Andy. You want to say something? Yes, you go no. ahead. No, I was thinking the other way around also for the from, from the deaf community's point of view, if it's if it's um um uh, uh speech it comes out in text so that they'd be able to read it as well. So it's it works both ways, but ultimately um it's a time saver. This is a massive time saver for most people. You're we're busy. The first thing you do when you get into the office is you go to your emails and see what's happened the night before. But you've got so many other things to do. What you can just simply do is press listen and you carry on doing something else. Perfect. Correct. That's that's really a game changer. Now let's look at video mailing. A game changer. So there are a lot of people who don't really need. They don't want to write the tired of writing and stuff what if you have a system that you can just record what you are saying video in video say i have an accident sorry to even use that to, to use that because i don't even want to have accident. i don't want to die now but you have something and you really want to show the facial expression of it because sometimes you know speak when you speak people don't really know the gravity of what you are saying sometimes when you write people can misinterpret it what if i have a system where I can record myself three, five minutes and then send it to you. That's also a game changer. That's so powerful. When you're, when you're in a sales environment, for instance, and you're trying to explain yourself correctly, sometimes just by writing the words down is not enough. You're quite right. You need facial expressions in there, hand gestures sometimes, like I do all the time. It, it's so powerful in front of, of, of those that you're trying to communicate with. And also, when you think about it from the deaf community, a lot of them are able to lip read. So, again, that makes life easier for them sometimes. But it's, you know, a, think of it from a doctor's point of view, trying to provide a, a personal instruction and explanations to, to patients. Um, you know, um, uh, educators providing, uh, teachers providing feedback to to their their students. Um, you know, it, that's with the, the being able to see their face makes life so much easier because you get the message across far easier. Correct? One hundred percent true. Um, you know, this is really a very powerful tool, and I'll just lot which will look at it. All right, let's talk about follow up. So you send a message, an email, and you have an automated system that's follow up the email. So you look at last large corporation. So you send thousands of emails. You said, okay, maybe Andy will forget to read this email. And I said, set a reminder, Andy, have you done this? Have you done this? Until Andy you know, does it and then reply to me and said complete. So I can set it for three days or four days. Follow up this email. Andy, you know, when it comes to, to businesses, you can explain that better, what it will do for the business. Well, I, I, again, you relate it to um, uh, important appointments with the doctor. 
the doctor sends you an appointment and you get a follow up to say, by the way, don't forget your appointment is at such and such a time. So, yeah, that's a good one. Financial services are the same. If you've booked another appointment with a or second appointment with a customer or a client, um, what you need to make sure is that he's aware of that. So you send a, an email to confirm, then you send a follow up, then you send a follow up. And, and it makes sure that you get to talk to him again. Absolutely. That's very powerful. Yeah. And then look at log folder. You have important documents. Say you are sharing your emails. You know, it's a company email. And you said, all right, I have a secretary. You know, it's there. And I want them not to go to my important folder, important emails that maybe the email, I'm the only one to read and, uh, uh, you know, and take action on that email. I can create a log folder within, within, within on passive, within all mail, you know. So all mail give you the ability to lock some of the, 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 the important, you know, emails that you've been received. And you can direct them, say email coming from Andy, goes to that folder, copy to that folder. So I'm the only one to read that. But Andy will explain how, what advantage businesses will, 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 will well, realize from the, that. The, this is this is massive as well because if you think about it each patient is individual and each person's data is secure has to be secure so if you've got constant correspondence with the doctor they need to make sure it's in a lock folder in with mm -hmm. your name on it so financial services if you're dealing with a customer you need to make sure that customer has their own folder so any correspondence from a compliance point of view has to go into that folder that's perfect legal again for a single case you can put that in um, uh, creative marketing or media and the, if they're dealing with one particular uh, project it, everything goes into that lockbox uh, and again that is so that it can't be spread around with other other or mixed up with other um, uh, uh, projects or creations that they're trying to do so yeah absolutely massive yeah so we look at read receipt which is a very good features how many times have they sent us an email and we said, no, we didn't receive it. Oh, I didn't look at it. Oh, this, you started giving excuses. Maybe you've read it and you said, no, I didn't. And you are in a position where hundreds of emails or maybe, you know, you have lots of emails coming. You are, you are, you are a secretary and they expect you to acknowledge it. But you didn't say it and they called you the next time and said, please, did you receive it? You said, no. And then they have to resend it again because the person don't know if you receive it or not. So, I, Andy, can you just explain what it would do for the business atmosphere? Oh, li listen, they're, they're, if I relate this to financial services, and I don't wish to be funny here, but but at the end of the day, you send a, a client an email, no, I never got it. Um, but I know you've owned it, and I know you clicked on the link. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, again, with anything, with the doctor's appointments, it's like taking pills. You know, they have these 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 new technologies these days for patients to ensure that they're taking their correct medication. And if they're not, a little, a little alarm goes off. So if you relate this to, to, to patients and their appointments, has, the, has the, uh, the patient opened that email or not? Yes, he has. Okay. Send the follow-up. Make sure he attends the, the appointment that's booked for him. Uh, the wasted time that we have in any industry, when you book an appointment and no one turns up or no one comes to that, that appointment because they've forgotten. But if you've got follow-up and you've got this tracking system, they've opened it. I know they have. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And the next one is the dashboard. You know, the dashboard, you know, it's just an analytic, analytical dashboard that tells you an overall email that you have, maybe what, from your inbox to your delete folder, you know, to 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 maybe your log folder and stuff. You know, it's just so it's just self-explanatory. So on one glance, you can see everything, your activity, email activity, going out and coming in. So Andy, do you want to explain what the dashboard will do for the industry? Again, it simplifies everything because it puts things in the place that you want mm -hmm. to find it. It's nice and simple. I don't know about you, but with some of the other email uh, systems that I've used in the past, trying to find anything is a nightmare, first of all. But but if you are if you work with a company that uses Outlook and your computer has a failure, everything on that Outlook's gone. 
right? This is a, it, it, it's, it's held on the cloud under encrypted services on our cloud, on our uh, database. So it cannot go anywhere. But it, it's, if it's laid out in a simplistic manner, again, it's simply a time saver, guys. This is easy and simple and, hey, away we go. Yeah, and it, that's really beautiful. And now we're coming with Omel Pro. That's what our CEO told us. And it will be more of business. It will be the pay part of Omel. The first one we've discussed is free. It's unlimited. Let's remember, unlimited upload and download. And you can upload on every uh, 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 um, format. So, Andy, do you want to explain what the unlimited upload and download will do for businesses? <laughs> Just give me a, a again. Excuse my stupidity, but a, um, <laughs> upload and download. You mean the file attachment side? File right? attachment, yeah. Okay, okay, good. That's fine. Just so that we we're, we're clear. Listen, I don't know about you, but um, I've had thousands of photos on iCloud, and they I got this message saying iCloud photos was being shut down. I'm thinking, how the hell do I get everything onto my email? You can't because you can only send a few emails at a time with each photo. And if you've got thousands of photos, it's an impossibility. But let's put this into a business perspective. If you've got um, uh, a sizable file that needs to go through, uh, when we write a bit of business in financial services, there are 20 different files that are connected to it. Yeah. And sometimes you have to send two or three emails because of the sizes of the files that we've got, which is a, a pain. Let's, let's, you know, put it bluntly. It is a pain. So if you're able to send everything in one go, it makes life so much easier. But again, think of it from a, from a legal perspective. If you've, if you've got a transcript for a, a court case and somebody has asked for the entire transcript, how many emails would you have to send? It's, I mean, you've got thousands of pages of transcripts. So, yeah. But the other thing is the encryption side of it. Now, one of the biggest issues that we've had in financial services is certainly um, I can't send emails with statements to customers because at the end of the day, it, it can be hacked and, and the data might not be safe. But if you've got a system that's encrypted and you can send any size file through, customers, you can send the file through that they can then simply open. We don't have to send another one with a password and another one to link to that password and, and all of that. It It's all in one, one send. Wonderful. So let's, let's just, just look at what home mail will do. You know, can you compare it? Because we, are, we said we are not in any competition with anyone. You know, our CEO have said it time and again that we are not here to put anybody down. You know, we are here. We are not competing because we are doing our own thing. On passive is a leak on its own, mm. doing something different, things that have never been done before. Now, Omel Pro, we're talking about Omel Pro coming very, very shortly, driven by, powered by AI, integrated with old tracker where you can analyze all the emails you can see the trend what would that do for the marketing service and all finance andy can you just tell us what omel pro would do uh wow well, okay so normally what you have to do is that a company has to have its own servers its own um uh, which it has to pay for obviously and then you've got to do an add-on you've got to add on the the email service so every uh, additional advisor that you add or every additional person becomes an additional cost okay so if you've got your own server the amount of, of of information that has to be stored on that server for every single person that you have in your company becomes a an exorbitant cost now think about this for one moment we're using on passives uh, data centers so we ha and we have unlimited storage unlimited storage so we could have a thousand members of staff each with an email through omail it's not an add-on it links direct to your website which by the way we will be able to look after through on passive anyway because but then it becomes not an add-on it's part of the service 
So all of that cost is gone. It's integrated within the website so that everything is there and together. And again, you've got total encryption. So every single company has its own details, its own email services, its own file sharing and everything else. But then there are other product products that will be coming out that will actually give them additional benefits on top. You know, OPIA, being able to communicate and send files through like you do on WhatsApp, if you like, but it's all part of a single sign-on. So I just think, oh, hold on a second. I need to speak to Tony, who's in Australia. Yeah, it's two in the morning. Let's wake him up. <laughs> like they do for you, Collins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we have unlimited storage as well, which is just, you know, you, there's no no need to have to pay for anything else. No need to have to pay for iCloud storage or anything like that. It doesn't matter how much you've got, how many photos you've got, how many files you've got. It's all free. It's all part of the service. Yes, I just like what you said. And it is all free. You know, most of the other company will charge you for what we've just said, but it is all free. Yes, the Olme Pro will be a pay because more is for businesses. You know, but all mail with all what we have said here is 100% free. So the only thing we can say is if you need it, take a look. Take a look. You can scan. Before we have the, 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 the scanner here, the, the, the QR code, scan it, take your chance, move in as quick as possible, and start to use all mail for free. And you will be amazed what you will see within the unpassive ecosystem. All tracker, everything is integrated with a single sign on. You know, we just want to say that it is all free. So please don't delay. So, Andy, do you have okay, one thing? Yeah, absolutely. One more thing that, that for me is so, so important no spam. How does that work, Collins? Wow. We have no spam folder. Thank God that you remind me about this. The reason why we don't spam folder because AI is taking care of all the spam. So when you have an email, right, coming in, you have the 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 the, 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 the there is there is there is the, the the right for you to say I accept it or reject it. And if you reject the email, it will never come again except you go you tell the person resend it. I will accept it. So you have that ability to decide which email you want to receive and which email you don't want to receive. And there is one more thing I want to add. That's why we don't have spam folder. So AI kick all the spam out. If you don't accept it, you will never see it again. You have to accept it. You know, when we talk about our contact list, you know, um, Andy, you explain this when it comes to, to financial and business term. Every email you accept, what happened? It goes straight to your contact. Sometimes you want to search, you see a lot of rubbish email coming. You don't, you, you never ever accept that email as contact. With all mail, you have to physically add them to your contact. So when you do partial or full search, you see all the email that you physically add them. So what will happen to businesses where you want to search and an Andy, but the moment you put a n, you see a lot of email maybe from businesses those who are spam email that you've accepted because they are all in your inbox they are just there and it takes time for you to filter to the right email you want to you want to send your email to so how would that work in in the financial service it will it save time or not and you know i've been thinking about this your contact you have to add it yourself then when you make your passage shares you will see all of this so what will happen in the in the business world andy We can, I can't hear you, Andy. You are muted. Hi, hi, Collins. Yes, sorry. Um, I, it, it's a it's a good one. At the end of the day, no one likes spam, and and, and like you say, we have to to um, work our way through. Now, I've got several email addresses and uh, and whatever, particularly with Gmail. And every morning, I must bin at least fifty emails. They come through. I keep. You know, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. I don't want to have to do that. I just don't want to receive them. But from a company perspective, just think about this or a, a, any person really that doesn't want to get spammed, that just wants their email come in to go, yep, yeah, this is important to me. I'll take this one. 
well, no one likes spam and it's constant. And the more it comes in, the more it increases. It's just a nightmare. OK, so, guys, we've we've covered O'Mail today. Thank you for joining us. Um, what we're going to do is we'll do another product. Um, uh, I'll let you know a day. Collins and I will research for you and then cover um, each and every product one by one. So if there's any particular product you'd like or any questions you, you'd like to raise about what we've discussed today, please just let us know and we'll try and cover them. Uh, we do a, a Heroes webinar on a Sunday. Um, so again, come and join us this Sunday. It's um, uh, two o'clock Eastern time, 7 p.m. UK time. The details will be in the back office. If you're a registered um, uh, affiliate with uh, on passive but not part of the back office just let us know um, send us a message we'll make sure that you get the link so that you can join us and learn with us thanks ever so much for coming everybody um, and please like and subscribe both of our channels we help you you help us collins yes andy you just need it so just want to thank everyone if you enjoy it you know, join us again for another product explanation. We are here to serve you. We are just seven. But if you enjoy it, please share it with a lot of founders and, you know, affiliate, you know, because this is really good information coming here. We are looking both on the product level and the financial benefit of each product. You know, please share it wide and please subscribe to our channels. You know, that's the only thing we can do to serve you as much as possible. Join us again. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. As I said, uh, we'll see you very soon and let you know the next one. So thanks for joining us. Bye.